Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can restructure data in SPSS from long format to wide or horizontal format. Typically, data that is in long format is repeated measures data, and essentially you have a variable, one or more variables, where you have repeated measurements over time. So for instance, in this data set right here, which by the way is coming from this uh, uh, book presentation here uh, under data sets you can actually download them um, this variable test um, is uh, essentially reflecting repeated measurements of students on a test variable over time so in this uh, demonstration you can see that we have each row represents a separate repeated measurement for a given student so you'll notice that we have a student identifier this is in column one right here so we have student one, student two, student three, four, and so forth. So you can see that we have a time variable included in the data set with values of one, two, and three reflecting uh, each measurement occasion within student. And then again, the test variable um, is uh, the values change over time. You also see that we have a, uh, this is a school code variable. Uh, and you also see that we have these other variables that are included as well. So just note that in this data set, uh, the values on these variables over time are exactly the same. And that's because uh, these are reflecting between student differences, not within student uh, differences or changes over time, such as what we have with the test variable. So what I want to do in this demonstration is to restructure the data so that each row represents a given student and will include three variables reflecting the different uh, repeated measurements. So instead of having a single variable reflecting test scores that are measured, uh, that are um, captured over time within an individual, we'll have three separate variables, uh, because we have three time points here, that reflect the repeated measurements. And again, each row would reflect um, a given case. So in this uh, long format, each row represents uh, a, a repeated measurement for within a given student, we want to convert this to uh, wide format or horizontal format where each row represents a given student and we would have different variables reflecting the repeated measurements. Uh, just so you know, um, it's, it's, tip, it's kind of atypical to do this kind of uh, restructuring when working with longitudinal data. Most of the time, uh, you'll have a data set where you, are, where you may be restructuring from wide or horizontal format to long format, such as what you see right here, um, it's less usual to restructure from long format to wide format. But there have been circumstances where I've wanted to do that, and so this is why I'm showing it. Um, one reason why I have done this in the past is where I've been putting together uh, video presentations and so forth, where I might have run a uh, growth curve model using the uh, SPSS multi-level regression uh, approach. Uh, and instead, I wanted to uh, run the same analysis or similar analysis using latent growth curve modeling and a structural equation modeling program such as AMOS. And AMOS would require the data to be in wide format as opposed to long format. So let's uh, do this. We're going to go ahead and restructure the data. We're going to do this by going to Data. We'll go down to Restructure. And then we'll click on Restructure Selected Cases into Variables. So um, if, we, if we select this, we're, we're saying that we are restructuring basically from wide format or horizontal format to long format. Uh, we're not going to be doing that. We are instead going to restructure the data from uh, long format to uh, wide format. So we're going to click on Next, and we're going to move our uh, student identifier variable to the identifier variables box, and we will move our time variable to the index variables box. So the time is reflecting the different, uh, the repeated measurement occasions, basically. So we'll click Next. And we'll leave everything as is, click Next again, and then Finish. Um, and then we'll click OK on this uh, box right here. And so now you can see that each row represents a given student's uh, measurements uh, on the different variables. So you can see the, the identifier variable, it goes from 1, 2, 3, 4. So each row uh, has a different identifier uh, value to it, or subject identifier. You can see that all of these values that uh, were varying between student are exactly the same. But now the test variable that we had before 
has three test uh, variables created reflecting the measurements at time one, two, and time three. So that is all there is to it. So uh, thank you for watching.